Praise the Lord. I'm Pastor Kevin Williams Jr. And I'm First Lady Amara Barrow Williams. We greet you in the name of Jesus Christ and we invite you to watch our sermons and Bible studies in the name of Lee. And please visit our website, gbwtalbion.org. And remember, we love, love you in, in Jesus', Jesus name. name. Glory, glory to his name. 
Bibles, please turn to Romans chapter number one. Bible reads in Romans chapter 1 verse 16, for I am not ashamed, somebody say not ashamed, not ashamed. of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. Heavenly Father, we come to you today. We give your name thanks and praise. We thank you for being in the number one more time. Hallelujah. We're praying for all the souls of everything that we're dealing with here on earth, the problems that we face in this country and in this world. We're praying that victory will come to us believers Hallelujah. that follow the word of God. And we're praying for those dealing with trials and tribulations, that they would get through these tests that they're facing. This world will be an encourager to those saints, those that's striving to have a relationship with Jesus. Let my flesh be submissive. Use me as a ready vessel to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. We pray and ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. You can be seated. In the house of God. Today's sermon is entitled, I'm Not Ashamed. I'm Not Ashamed. We're living in some peculiar times that has become quite controversial in some churches across this country. There is a debate to where do we draw the line between church and state? Where do I cut off 
my representation of Jesus Christ? Do I wear this representation of Jesus Christ at the gas station, at the grocery store, at my public school that I attend, uh, at my job, or do I take it off? I'm so glad that Apostle Paul had the credence and the heart to let it be known almost 2,000 years ago. To let the church in Rome, which he was establishing, this is very, very, very early on, that he's not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. But I begin to sense that a lot of us so-called Christians is starting to become ashamed of what we believe in. Now, my lovely, beautiful wife, she taught on Sunday school this morning, and she dealt with some of the things that is happening in our school. These things of choosing your gender and now being appropriate in certain states for your child to take hormone blockers without even notifying the parent or the legal guardians. These type of acts and policies pushing from the devil himself, I would have never thought was even possible growing up as a child. When I was growing up as a child, I went to school, I wanted to learn and have fun and play. And then when I got into middle school and high school, I went to school, I wanted to play sports, and I wanted to see my friends. I never thought that it was a possibility that my sexual preference would come into play. See, this is how the devil comes around like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. The most innocent uh, individual in our life is children. And they really, for themselves, lack that protection because they're such of an innocent representation. So what am I saying? They're easy prey. <laughs> when you think about a lion and how he conducts, how he gets his, uh, what would you call it, his dinner, he looks for easy prey. So when he walks around, he's looking for somebody that's by themselves or somebody that's easy for him to prey. A lion is not going to go and attack an elephant. A lion, believe it or not, is not even going to attack a pack of hyenas. He may attack a hyena that's by itself, but it's not going to attack a pack of hyenas. So we need to understand that we need to pray for our children when they leave our house because we don't know what the devil has in store. We may be the last covering that defeats that imp or that demon that's trying to attack our child. We have to be careful that we don't participate in the devil's agenda. I wish I was in an apostolic church on today. When I say I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ, I can stand up against the fiery wiles of the devil. Not because of me, because of who's in me. Greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. We have come to a place where entertainment in God's house is more important than praise and worship. Entertainment is more important than an actual sermon based on scriptures. We've come way too far to turn back now. The Bible even says that he crept in unaware. One of those things I think that crept in unaware is Hollywood entertainment. Mm -hmm. Hollywood does not belong into God's house. Mm -hmm. Let Hollywood stay where it's at and let God's house stay 
where it has always been. In fact, I remember Jesus told Peter, upon this rock, I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. So we saw many uh, businesses, stores, and other places of employment shut down during the pandemic. But somehow, some way, Greater Bible Way Temple of Alvin at 402 Austin Avenue yeah. in the city of Alvin, we didn't shut down. Amen. We didn't close the doors because our church is built on the truth. And the truth yeah. is what sets us free. Yeah. They that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. So no, I'm not going to like a picture on Facebook with a little tiny in a dress or put Sally in a full man suit with a towel because you're going against the apostolic doctrine. I, I stand on the apostolic doctrine. This is the principles that we must live by. The only individuals that had the truth was the individuals that physically walked with Jesus. This is what it, it says in the book of Acts that they would stand fast in apostles doctrine. When you add apostolic to it, it goes far as what we can go through, what we can preach, what we can teach, what we can live, the scriptures we can apply to our life because they had the life experience. I wish I was in an apostolic church on this Sunday morning. I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. I'm not ashamed of the miracles that God has bestowed upon me and my family. I'm not ashamed of the difference that God has made in my life spiritually, physically, and financially. I'm not ashamed of what God is doing in this ministry. I'm not ashamed of the many blessings that God has bestowed upon the members and those that come to this church. I'm not ashamed of Jesus Christ. And I will tell the president all the way down to the local janitor about the goodness of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the reason why we're breathing on today. Jesus Christ is the reason why we're still in our right mind. When this whole world is going crazy, when they can't tell you the difference between a man and a woman, the fact that I'm still in my right mind and the devil, praise the Lord, he knows that Jesus Christ is real. But do we know that Jesus Christ is real? And when the devil thought he had defeated Jesus, three days later, Jesus got up from that grave, praise the Lord, and dust that death, dust off of his body. And because of this, I'm not ashamed of the gospel. Pastor Paul, responsible for writing this epistle, which he wrote half of the New Testament. He wrote 13 of that 26 books, and majority of them was epistles. He wrote them to different parts of cities and countries, and then he wrote letters to the son or his sons in the gospel, to Timothy and Titus. He was writing this very early church in Rome to let them know the foundation in which we must stand on. See, when you're building a house, people think the most important thing is the color <laughs> of the house. Praise the Lord. The shape of the house, and even some architects will might even say the roof, because it upheld the leakage in which the house can receive. But I come to find out in my time of studying that the foundation is the most important part of structure of the house. If your foundation is not 
strong, that building will crumble. We got to get back to the foundation and understand who we stand on. We can't stand on what the world is standing on. We got to stand on the gospel of Jesus Christ. Because without Jesus Christ, there's no salvation. Without Jesus Christ, I don't care how good of a Christian you are. You can't get to heaven without Jesus Christ. There's no miracles happen without Jesus Christ. That house that you live in, you couldn't live in that house if it wasn't for Jesus Christ. That job that you have, you couldn't have that. I'm talking to Christians, true believers. You wouldn't have that job if it wasn't for Jesus Christ. I wish I was speaking to somebody. That high blood pressure that you got is trying to take you up out of here. Praise the Lord. You would be out of here if it wasn't for Jesus Christ. Because the scriptures say it like this. By your stripes, I am healed. So long as I'm walking into the will of Jesus Christ, the devil can't come against me. And I ain't going nowhere until Jesus Christ says it's time for me to go rest in paradise. I wish I was preaching to somebody on here. I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. I'm not ashamed of the scriptures. I'm not ashamed to live a holy and righteous life. I don't care what this man is doing. But for me and my house, we will worship the Lord. We will follow the principles of the Bible. We will stand up for what's right. And I'm telling you, baby, this right is the word of God. And once you got that Holy Ghost out, it feels like fire. Shut up in my bones. It feels like you have the ultimate warrior. I can go against the devil. I can tell the devil, you should say that. You cannot hold me. God's child. I know people think it's important for you to represent this crew, represent the blood, represent the crew, but I'm going to let you know that you ain't nothing if you ain't represent Jesus Christ. I own Jesus too, and what's Jesus too is the living too. I got victory because I'm with Jesus. I try often because I'm with Jesus. I got joy that's unspeakable because I'm with Jesus. Thank God for Jesus because with Jesus I can overcome my struggles. Because of Jesus I can overcome my trials. Because of Jesus I got one more chance together. And I get to the safest place. I, I can see what Jesus is doing in the lives of his children. Put your hands together. You can have a shout from Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. I'm not ashamed. Hallelujah. I'm not ashamed. We have to have that mentality. The Bible says, let this mind, which was in Christ Jesus, also be in you. It's a, it's, it's a very important statement. And I wonder, was it because at this time the Christians were being persecuted? I'm not talking trolling on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. <laughs> I'm talking about off with your head yeah. because you believe in Jesus. Right. So Apostle Paul had to let that church in Rome know, I'm not ashamed. Yeah. You will take off my head, try. Right. <laughs> I'm coming back. If it's not my time to go, I ain't going nowhere. That's right. I got work to do. Amen. 
I'm going to be about my father's business. Because only what you do for Jesus lasts. Put so much time and all this other stuff. And ain't nothing wrong with fellowship, family gathering, being around your friends. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But when is Jesus going to get his time? <laughs> When are you going to give time to Jesus? <clears throat> I um, was at the Western District because I prepared a close. It's the Western District. And there was a young couple that was having problems in a relationship. And it wasn't until they came to the sense that they wanted to be submissive to God that it helped their marriage be restored. Mm -hmm. right. If we can just all be submissive to God, everything else will take care of itself. Put God first yes. and then all right. these things right. shall be added unto you. Right. Whatever those things is you desire, but give God his credence. Hallelujah. Give God his honor. He deserves it. That's right. Many of us don't deserve to be in the land of the living right now. Hey, hey, Jesus, thank you. God. If it was not for God that was on my side, where would I be? Jesus, God, thank you, Lord. So I got a message. And hopefully you remember this. Those Christians, hopefully you stand up. I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Come on, put your hands together. Yeah. Give God.